What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a quick video before me and my chick go out for a nice romantic Italian dinner regarding Brad Holiday. Okay, I never liked this fucking kid. I used to hate on him on the forums and he was never good at game. Okay, but I do respect uh, Jason James a great deal, uh, the second half of, of Lux Life. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump into here in, in, in this latest and breaking news. Okay, most fucking pickup artists, uh, coaches are just droning on about woo-woo nonsense. I like to see myself as the, uh, the Chael Sonnen of the dating community in some ways. All right, so uh, what happened here? A Manhattan pickup artist with an interest in the far-right uh, QAnon conspiracy was arrested on... <laughs> Reminds me of fucking Sonny Arvado with the, with the conspiracy stuff. Was arrested on Wednesday for allegedly participating in the dead, deadly insurrection at the U.S. Capitol earlier this month. Uh, Samuel Fisher, I didn't know that was his real name. This is Brad Holiday, the, the coach Brad Holiday, infamous for making countless videos that get about 30 views each. <laughs> A lot of times less than 100, but that didn't seem to deter him. I just never liked this kid. He just seemed like kind of a punk and was always, uh, you know, running his mouth, etc., but didn't have any game. So uh, let's see. So Samuel Fisher, an Upper East Side resident who appears to run a spar. <laughs> Even the journalists are uh, taking a crack at that. Sparsely watched YouTube channel devoted to helping men get high-value girls was taken into custody as Yorkville home on Wednesday morning. FBI agents recovered a cache of weapons inside the apartment, including a semi-automatic rifle, 1,000 rounds of ammunition and a bulletproof vest, according to the complaint. At his arraignment on Wednesday, prosecutors said Fisher traveled to Washington, D.C. with multiple weapons on the intention of engaging in violence. Yeah, this is fucking kind of fucking weird, right? It, it sucks. Like, all the pickup shit in the news, it's like, you know, there, there, there happened to be, like, you know, like the Elliot Rogers shit. Like, you know, I'm not making fun of any of this stuff, of course. But it's, it's just like pickups giving like a bad name and a bad face, right? Like you've got like Julian becoming the most hated man in the world and then being a giant pussy on CNN, okay, getting banned from several countries, right? Or you have, uh, you know, Bradicus blowing up Mexico, Austin Summers blowing up Colombia, the fucking idiot San Diego guys that were falsely uh, connected to my old company, okay, they never worked for us. They were friends of my old business partner and that was the extent of it. You know, now we have a guy that's traveling with a thousand rounds of ammun <laughs> ammunition, I'm laughing due to the, the absurdity, and a semi-automatic rifle with a bulletproof vest, okay? And then they're like, oh, look, this is associated with the, the pickup community, okay? That has nothing to do with anything in the pickup artist community. The journalists just like to fucking bring up that shit. Like, look at, look at like bodybuilding.com, right? Like, there's another place where, where thousands of people post you know, just because some fucking idiot in there becomes a pedophile or something doesn't mean that, like, you know, everyone associated with uh, bodybuilding.com is a pedophile. They pointed to social media posts in which Fisher allegedly bragged about carrying guns to D.C. and wrote that he wanted to bring the pain upon Trump's political enemies. Here he is looking like a fucking cracked out maniac with a cache of weapons. Very intelligent thing to post on social media. Uh, never was the brightest guy. Fisher also posts on a personal website under the alias Brad Holiday. Page littered with far right memes, including references to the anti Semitic protocols of the learned elders of Zion and delusional screeds inspired by the QAnon movement accusing Joe Biden of pedophilia. The night before the attack on the US Capitol, Holiday wrote a post entitled January 6th will be the most historically important days of our lives. Creepy as fuck. It describes a plan to face off against the communists or Satanists who control the federal government and allow it. Antifa and Black Lives Matter run rush out in the streets. Trump just needs to fire the bat signal, deputize patriots, and then pain comes, he wrote, according to court fines. One million pissed off on the guns, bad idea. Yeah, this is all out of control. Uh, I had no idea. Like, I didn't even know this guy that well. I had no idea he, <laughs> he was engaged. Uh, I, for the record, because a lot of you are probably wondering, Jason James, I spoke with him. He hasn't spoken to him in a long time. Said that he kind of went off the deep end with a lot of this 
conspiracy shit and political shit. So Jason James is a good dude. Lux Life, uh, you know, was primarily his teachings and um, he's an upstanding guy. So this isn't connected with Jason James anyway. Uh, charged on Wednesday with unlawfully entering restricted grounds of U.S. Capitol, disorderly conduct. We plan to bring more charge, more serious charges. Defense attorney did not dispute that he attended the rally or wrote the post, but there's no ent- evidence that he entered the Capitol building. And then his bail was denied because he was found with like a small uh, army of weapons. And then one other one we'll look at really quick. Uh, we have a video, which I rolled in the beginning. We'll have a video... Uh, here, we'll roll it again. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty fucking hardcore. Uh, the footage was given the post by the resident. Didn't want to be identified. Shows federal weapons with their weapons drawn. Put your hands behind your back. He's like, what the fuck? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Thousand rounds. Two bulletproof vests. Handgun, rifle, shotgun. Totally out of control. Held without bail. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed that uh, little news update. I am off to a romantic... T- <laughs> I'm off to a romantic Italian dinner. Uh, if you have any interest in mastering pickup, uh, click the link for my mentorship program in the description. Thank you all for tuning in. And check out those uh, those student infields that I posted recently. That stuff is always nice for people to see. Okay? There's so many fucking scammers in this niche. All right. Take care. Oh, and everyone's been calling me fat and out of shape. I happen to be shirtless getting ready for a restaurant. I'm, I'm by no means ripped right now. I'm about to be doing some cutting, but here we have my current physique. I'm at 6'4", uh, 215 pounds, and you have a bunch of fucking jackasses running their mouths on the internet. Hey, fat ass, lose weight, etc. Meanwhile, there's like Luke, uh, RST Luke running around, <laughs> Derek Moneyberg, and uh, who's the other big fatty? Uh, I know I'm missing somebody. Uh, I guess Tyler, Tyler could join that club these days, but, um, yeah, I'm not fat. It's funny because anyone that fucking talks shit, I'm always like, I have extensive Krav Maga, BJJ, and Muay Thai training. If you want to back up your claim, 6'4", 215 pounds, by no means fat here. I'm in pretty great shape, actually. All right, anyways, oh, and there's two living blondes now, uh, with me and the chick from my videos for On Demand threesomes and foursomes, but we made it very clear to them that I would still have my own shit on the side, one-on-one, and that me and my chick would have our own threesome and foursome girls. It is a rough life. All right. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.